I'm here with Dr. Joshua Alul. Can you tell me the institution that you're representing and why you're at the Blockchain Summit today? So I'm the director of the Center for Distributed Ledger Technologies at the University of Malta, and I'm also the chairman of the Malta Digital Innovation Authority. And um, you told me earlier that you're involved in blockchain. Can you talk to me a bit about the regulatory framework environment in Malta regarding blockchain? That's right. So in Malta last year, we released three new acts. Um, one which provides legal certainty to the financial aspects of the operation, and two other acts which talk about the setup of a new authority, the Malta Digital Innovation Authority. And then the third act defines how we're going to regulate, provide regulation on the technology. And more than regulate the technology, how we're going to raise the levels of assurances on the technology. So what we're doing at the Malta Digital Innovation Authority is we approve different systems auditors who can look at technology and say that the technology actually does what it's supposed to be doing. Okay. Um, so today we've been hearing a lot about VFOs and due diligence. Can you just let me know a couple of things about them? Yep. Uh, so when we talk about the virtual financial asset, that's more within the remit of the Malta Financial Services Authority. And in these types of, uh, the, the sort of assurances that users require, um, typically around the world, the, the world is only looking at due diligence on the financial operation. However, um, we're missing a crucial part to this piece. Um, what we're, typically, people are not looking at the technical implementation of the digital asset, of the ICOs or the smart contracts. Um, so within the Maltese framework, we also require that individuals undertake due diligence on the technology by engaging an independent systems auditor to look at the code, to look at the processes that were used, to come up with the opinion that yes, the technology is actually doing what we're saying that it does. Um, but with regards to having reputable companies come and um, open their firms in Malta, what do you think the Maltese um, regulatory environment can do to sort of legislate for this better? That's right. So um, we have the full uh, regulation framework in Malta. We have the, we're covering the financial aspect, which gives companies legal certainty. We have uh, assurances to the end users from the legal aspects. And now we are also the first jurisdiction to have assurances on the technology aspect. And uh, I, I personally believe that when a user wants to use a particular system, they need assurances in the technology as well. So this this is really a key point in attracting clientele to different systems. Um, so I would say that that should be a big um, attracting, uh, attractive point for them to consider Malta. So what you're saying is Malta is quite innovative because it's sort of marrying the finance sector with the technology sector. Um, what do you, how do you think this can help with um, startup blockchain companies or early stage companies? That's right. So um, startups who want to get involved in this particular space, Currently, they have to undergo certain technology auditing if they're working on virtual financial assets. Um, if they are a startup, they have to consider whether this sort of current jurisdiction is the right jurisdiction for them. Um, in future, we would hope that our jurisdiction would also promote startups. So we want to come up with a regu uh, regulatory framework that is not only um, providing assurances, but it's also promoting innovation. And to promote innovation, we need to start to see how we can encourage startups to work within this jurisdiction. Um, lastly, what is the University of Malta doing in order to promote the education and training within this sector? So at the University of Malta, for the past few years, we've had elements of computer science that cover the concepts of blockchain and the fundamentals of blockchain. Over the last year, we've introduced various units within our degree programs that talk about blockchain, both from the legal, from the business, from the IT point of view. Um, but this last year, we created a new center for distributed ledger technologies. And the center is all about bringing the different disciplines together under a single umbrella to provide a new master's in blockchain and DLT, which is multidisciplinary. So we will be getting graduate graduates who are ICT graduates, we'll be getting graduates who are legal graduates and also business graduates. And the idea is that the individual will both get advanced knowledge in their particular area of specialization, but they also get an introduction to the other areas. For example, lawyers who are getting advanced law will also get introduction to smart contract programming. Um, and lastly, what do you think about the summit so far? Are you enjoying it? It's great. There's a diverse um, crowd here. So we're really marrying blockchain and the AI um, sectors right now. And it's really good to see the two different sectors coming together. And we hope that we can encourage more sectors to come to Malta as time goes by. Thank you very much. That's great. Thank you.